Alrighty, welcome back. Alright, let's go ahead and get in here. The question is, do we need any more food for this? Probably not. Zap! Kill for Scryer. Now, what are we doing? Okay, so we have halberds as anti-large. Sword infantry. This guy is... Anti-infantry. These are anti-large. He counts as large, right? No, he, he counts as infantry. Okay. Alright, let's just fight it. I think... I think we can probably handle it. Oh no, I'm out of coffee. Disaster. Bunch of escaping slaves in this army. You know, we might definitely uh, have to use a nuke here. We're pretty much have active combat or just like potential combat zones on like half of the map right now. We need to go find Tretch. We haven't tried to seek out Tretch. We could send one of these assassins on a mission to go find Tretch in the upper left. Tretch usually like like I said, he he's kinda whatever. It's he's interesting, like his campaign effect if an army runs and then re engages, you get plus thirteen melee. That's kind of cool flavor, but he's the one that a lot of people often care about the least. Okay, so our reinforcements are coming in from way over there. So we just need to try to join up with them. Ready, steady, kill. That is really bad setup for where these reinforcements are coming in. sure if it's worth trying to go for these over here, but... Where's... Where's Go. Come on, go over here. I'm try to break this. Oh my god, run past that. Get over here. Why is he running with like four health? Run past those units. 
Now, move! Sneak, sneak, back! Smell my kaffia! Great plans, CC. Retreat, back! Now, ready now! Fight, fight! Quick, quick! Yes, yes! Stab, stab! That did more to my own units than I thought it was going to. It looked like, based on the hitbox, that it I wasn't going to do me. nearly as much. Not scary, yes. Stop her, go. We're all about to run. I guess that's one way to save a little money. Why will they not move? I mean, do they have, like, a permanent netting ability? This is why I couldn't play multiplayer. One of the main things is units just do not listen. Like, you tell them to move, and there's just, like, such a massive delay. Like, basically, these one units were holding off, like, 20 of mine. Because they just refused to run around. I told y'all early on, Wizardmen are, like, difficult to deal with. Especially early on, we don't have a lot of advanced units. And, like, the placement on those reinforcements is very rough, too. Not my fight, fight! I mean, the good news is these guys don't really matter that much. As like I said before, I was thinking about deleting these armies anyway. The only reason I kept them was just to try to defend this, but it looks like it was fruitless. I mean, I thought I dropped that nuke right on. Right. It looked like my units weren't really going to be that affected by it, but their units, um, you know, looked like they should have been wiped. And I think I did do a lot of damage to them, but... We just, we really need, um... We really need abominations here. Hell Pit Abominations and, um... Um, Storm Vermin. How did it not do any damage to any of them? What? I'll have to go back and watch that replay, but, like, I dropped it right on... Did I misclick? Because it looks like they took no damage. Unless it just like perfectly distributed all of the damage and left all of them at like 1 HP or something. There's something about that didn't seem right. I mean, I know it damaged a lot of my guys in there too, but I thought it damaged a lot of their guys. I hate this <laughs> Back into tunnels. Oh, there's um. Wait, is that the special guy? this oh just a garrison okay oh my 
Mighty Lord, the fates have surely selected you for greatness. Grave news, my lord. Oh, God. Word is spreading across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. The armies of chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Prepare your defenses well, for the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest. Okay, they changed it, I think, to where you once you get to a certain Imperium level, that's when it spawns. Okay, and we should be at, we're probably at a really high Imperium level right now. Age of Discovery. Okay, that usually doesn't happen until way later also. Oh, these guys are spreading out. Raiding in the vaults, Vermidian raiding. We're gonna have to step back and probably just start hiring with him. Oh my gosh, what was I even gonna get? Okay, Oxel. This is good. It's food, money. Um, do I want one of these so I can hire Black Thirteen? This does give some extra movement, all of that stuff. Okay, number one priority. We gotta get. Say storm vermin, weapons, and do I need plague stuff? Plague monks. I mean, that's what scroll kind of. That's how he rolls. I think you get several buffs for him. And we're not going to be able to have like a million weapons teams on everybody. So, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and run it that way. Okay, mangrove coast. Where is this? Potential target. It does have tier three. Uh, has public orders not insane right now, so we'll go ahead and that mark of the old ones. Probably dead next turn. Sarmar. Yeah, there's just too many garbage Master units. Escape and slaves, all that stuff. And these are just feel worthless. I guess these are pretty cheap. It's 5% for all. I mean, they're only 227. They can scout, they can assassinate stuff. Um, this guy's just, I mean, this army is basically worthless. Get rid of that. I mean, I guess we could just suicide him into this and just see how much damage we get. We're gonna get rid of him anyways. That's, that's not gonna happen. Um, I mean that the thing is that will level him up if I do that though. And I just really don't think we're gonna do any damage. Futile. Do we really need three of these though. I mean how many of their little heroes are floating around? One or two of them. Do they have like block army or anything? Mission apprentice. And assault units, but none of them leveled up assassinate on the assassin. That, that one's worthless. We're going to go ahead and get rid of him. These two, I guess, we can keep and just try to assassinate their little heroes. The 
machines and that sorcery. Input, that's that's pretty bad. We can hire a better one. Okay, so that place is going down, and then we need to come back over here, sub. Why is he so limited in his movement? I guess because he started off raiding that turn. This guy at least has some units that are like, all right. Actually, did I get rid of... Let's go with public order, and then I probably do need to just level that stuff up and get more. Um, Dude, seriously? God, they all smell blood in the water. Oh, they burned that already. Right, well, scratch that. We're gonna need uh, try to get defensive stuff here. Yeah, they're all coming for me for sure. Okay, so let's just throw down some food here then. Since it might be a, a little minute before we can upgrade some of those things. Okay, and then he's gonna start heading down this way. I mean, we might as well, every time, no just start leveling some stuff up. Okay, triangulation, ballistics instructor. Okay, so that's all gone. I'm gonna keep taxing. That's about all we can do there that's safe. <clears throat> Dwarves trying to stand their ground. Okay, props. Master engineer. Let's go ahead and knock this out. Or do we just run for Tabaro? Just give them that. Because if, even if I take it back, they're going to... um, They're just going to keep fighting me for it. So These guys are just running as fast as possible to try to backdoor. I don't think they're going to be able to take Magrita or anything else. I just have too many units. They might be able to knock out Tabaro, though. That's kind of my weakest link. But... Yeah, let's just run back there and deal with these clowns first. And then we'll work our way back out after that. These guys are raiding me now, too. And they have a pretty decent little army. It's going to cause a rebellion. Skaven Blight, okay. I don't remember what I was even doing here. Okay, Black 13. Clan Pit. Okay. Um. Do I want to pay that for food per turn? I don't think that's worth it. Who else we got moving along here? Okay, Icket Claw. What are we going to do with him? Okay, so we can try to come back and deal with this guy. It looks like he might be trying to go for our main Mount Gunbad, which would be extremely annoying. So we're going to have to probably run him down. I think we should have done, let's see, 38, 39, 40. I mean, if we start getting swarmed by heroes, maybe we should have done Wary. They don't like block army us and or assassinate anybody or any of the garbage. Under Empire. Go, go. Skaven Bright's greatest, best inventor. Oh, I should have turned that off last turn. My mistake. I have no time for These guys are gonna run through and backdoor me. Jesus. 
Okay, it's gonna be the back backdoor kingdom here. Welcome to Backdoor Simulator. 3.0. Okay, they did take that, so that's under their control now, which is nice. This is a dark omen. Should I go for covert choke points? I think it's how many turns does that take? Three. They're they're gonna be there before that finishes. Mount Gunbad adds a warp lightning cannon. For the most part, yes. Alright. Buildings, Carcassonne. Fine. We need to try to get that to tier 4 if we can. Just so I can get back tunnels. We could upgrade Magrita and throw a couple more buildings on it. I mean, I guess we might as well. And that will allow us to get plus two for weapons team, plus one. So, I mean, I guess we get could get plus two for weapons team at some point. Um, we could get another clan summit. 1% upkeep reduction on all units faction-wide. I mean, I've probably got like 20,000. So, that'd be like 100 per turn. Up to 200 per turn. Um, and the 2% movement. So we might start wanting to put this everywhere whenever we get the discount every 15 turns. So if we're going to commit to that... In, like, green territories that are relatively safe. That does allow us to get things like Covert Choke if we need. Um, that's completely unnecessary now. We could... I don't want to get any more food... Could increase tax rate. It does cost food though, so is two food worth five percent tax rate? Probably not. I guess we just go with the untainted. Uh, Silver Road Pillars of Grungni is gonna get whacked probably. Raleano is going up. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, we need um. Am I trading anything? Does it does it matter? It doesn't matter. Um, we need to try to upgrade and get the um, more storm vermin capacity because all of the armies are going to want some storm vermin. So I need to start cranking that on anything that uh, may want that. I did put some on the dwarf over here too, right? Yeah. I mean it. I'd have to say we might as well upgrade that, but uh, I don't know if that's worth. Okay. Moved everybody. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Scroll's coming out soon. So Skaven's actually going to start laying into Empire up there, probably. Or not Skaven, uh, Chaos, which might make our job a little easier. Maybe that's a decent strategy, because um, this allows me to start working to the south, where we ran into Eshin, we ran into uh, Queek. Then we can start getting those confederations and grab some of those south monuments and not even worry about Bretonia and Empire and just force Chaos to spawn early before they're maybe ready for it and then Chaos can set them up and I can knock them down later.
Okay, so they took Chupatl, Ch Chupaitl, whatever however you pronounce it. Many inventions I have to kill you. They have two properties right now. I could get peace with them and wait ten turns. Where even am I? Okay. Why does it mess the map up like that? That's just so disorienting. Okay. Okay, so they would stop sacking my stuff over here, and I could maybe recover this. I think that's fine. I can find something else to do for 10 turns. We can kill these idiots and then come over here and like finish off border princes or something. I mean, or we can start getting aggressive with um Caracasone or the elves or something. Yeah, sure. I mean, they are at war with Clan Moors. I mean, what are they... So, if I kill them, what are they going to do? Fine. I mean, we, we can we can go back and kill them. Clan Wars is not going to like that treaty, but... Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. Now I don't have to chase them all around Squighorn. So, they're going to take this out, which is obnoxious, but... I should be able to burrow under and block them. It is really annoying that they're burning all my stuff, though, instead of just occupying it. I guess it's so corrupted that, I don't know, they're just going for maximum annoyance. I should be able to intercept them if they go in the underway. Wait, they both ran up there? Can I win that? I don't I don't think so. Let's just Win battle. Well, I don't know. We'll just see what they give us. No. I guess at least they took it. Oh god, I forgot about all the perp dude, if they come over here and like start messing up my shore, I guess it's like 50-50 in the bottom if they're gonna go for the desert or the jungle. Okay, what's this Imperium penalty here? Plus 10 relations with all factions, plus 15% upkeep for everything. Minus 5% campaign movement range. That's annoying. Okay, so we need to expand under Empire somewhere. Thirteenth scheme. Six more turns. How long on the Confederation? Supply lines are three armies. What is that penalty? Confederation penalty for five turns. Public order, minus 50 with Skaven. Okay. 
Yes. As Ashen listen, Ashen hear. Yes, yes. Quick, come. Challenge me, challenge Glen Moors. I dare, dare you. So yeah, they don't like some of those things that we're doing, but... Wait, I have... No, I do only have three armies. Okay, I was thinking I had more than three, but that's not true. Okay. Uh, Doom Rocket just seems bad, but... We'll just, we'll just go Sapper. Warlock Master! So that's what I get for not putting walls up there. I got all greedy. Where do these clowns go? They're probably coming at me right now. Why are we tired? Target's effect, minus three. Oh, do I, do I have a debuff on me for being tired or something? Yeah. So I have to wait a couple of turns. Okay, let's go ahead and get this idiot out of here. Let's try to. Yeah, you gotta have... I guess... I mean, they aren't that expensive, and it feels like you kind of do have to pay the price. Um... Some decent stuff, but is he still like absurdly expensive? Not absurdly expensive, kind of expensive. Secret arts. Best, best. How much longer until I can replace him with Skrulk? Four turns. Okay. So we're working on that stuff with Oxel. Um. Three turns for those. All right, so definitely one, two. How many can I hire? Six right now. I think three is good. We need those against the dinos for sure. We could even do four. They're 484 each. If we just get more Storm Vermin with Halberds, though, that might be alright. And we're not going to have as many, like, Plague Claws and that kind of. Because those just aren't as good. The snipers are extremely good against the dinos if my units don't come in in, like, a troll area. These are probably pretty good, or these are, like, okay at least. Um, as far as stuff I can hire, I just don't think I can hire that much, like, really good stuff right now. The, um, the anti-large, um, these guys might be pretty good, too. Snipers are probably better, but we might be capped on snipers. Okay, and then these are... They're, they're all right. These are these are pretty good, sort of. Might want one or two of those, but um, it's probably just going to be Storm Vermin and Howards. Okay. Uh, I kind of feel like I need to be hiring more stuff, though. But I, that's all we can do for now. Let's just go scout with this guy and see what's going on. We might have to give up this place. I think we're going to get the... Okay, they backed up.
They might come down and siege me. If they do that, we're just gonna have to crank. I just get two more upgrades immediately just to hire these two as regiments of renown and then just like fill this up with regiments and just go at them if they come at me, probably. So we moved him. Engineer of Scryer. I mean, they're gonna burrow under either way. I don't think they're gonna be able to just flat out run from me. So I kind of want to go like here, so that I can maybe run down them if they try to siege Kara as a Karak. I kind of want to cut them off, these guys off too, and force them to burrow under. I guess we'll do that. Thirty percent more. Just take some. It's already taken some food consumption. Should get covert. Take up food and doesn't offer any money, but that does offer some protection. Oh no, we're gonna get Clan Pit, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna start getting Clan Pits everywhere, that's what, that's what the plan was. Where did I even see Chaos? Not sure how I see him. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can go ahead and repair that stuff now. Have to get a couple more weapons teams. when the gems just used to give a lot of flat money but that, they don't do that anymore okay So I think we can do a lab in three turns. So we can go ahead and like put one under Itza. Probably is that special importance? Okay. Oops, not that. So we've looked at all that stuff. Okay, Let's just make sure everybody's moved. This guy Clash. Okay, he can't really do that much. Many, many kills today. <laughs> okay, set examples. Carve underground. Monstrous stuff for the hell pit might be good. Okay. Do not 
Have fear, rat slaves. Icky pet. I'm not sure who Red Cloud is, but... If it makes them happy, sure. Looks like a green skin faction. Wait, where did that come from? I didn't even see him. Oh my gosh, for real? Smell well, I mean, we can just siege it again. God, God. Ah, we're just so overstretched on everything. We are wearing them down, though. War of attrition everywhere. We gotta get the dwarfs out of here. They can have Black Crag back, whatever. It's tier one. It's gonna be much, much weaker when we come back and siege it. Looks like Eshin might come over and take it also. Here's a Karaka siege also. Why is it not showing me what they have? Let me just see what they have here. Die, die. Really? Y'all think so, huh? It's a bunch of dwarf warriors? Okay. Do I have a nuke? Ready? No, we already used it. Test subjects. I should be able to intercept these idiots here in a second. There's nothing that allows better interception, I don't think. Um. Enemies in sight. More warpstone. Now, now. <laughs> Maybe if I go like right here. Where's Carrot drawn? Maybe they'll think they can beat me with extra units. Sixteen extra units. Is that bold to go for that? Transcryer. <sighs> I think we can still beat them because there's going to be reinforcements. So maybe that's how I beat them is I just bait them. Run, rats. Well, now I'm not going to be able to jump out and stop Kara as a Karak, but they, that, there's just no way to actually take that. So I can just take Karak drawn. Hopefully they just come at me and they're like, oh, sweet, he done screwed up. Now they are going to be coming in from behind me, though, if we do that, but okay. Down here. Where did... Okay, he's right here. So they, he just... Wait, that's just a hero? Okay. He's just on a huge mount. Okay, I thought these guys were just all inning me right here, right now. And not going to let me complete these abominations. Which would be pretty smart, to be fair. Um, got some reinforcements coming in. Try to put a lab under Itza here. It's a lot of money, and then later on, if we need to, like, nuke it or something, we can. 
I believe that's just that town if you hover over it. It should say what the town makes. Is that zero? 165. Maybe that does mean that Lothurn's making that much. How are each one of these towns making that much? Yeah, I guess that does mean Lothurn proper is making literally that much. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I, sh I should definitely be upgrading this then, because that's what, 30% of that? That's a thousand a turn. Okay, well, I misread that then, so I've goofed that up. I could have been doing that a lot better. I guess that's three turns on that, and then four turns on this. That's a priority. We need to be doing that. Um, what else? Okay, these guys are just chilling. Let's make sure everything over here is... We forgot to upgrade that one, too. So this is 40 down. How much are we using? This is going to be plus 40. 2,000 right there. That's going to be 60, 40 down. So it's going to take it down to 20. And we might as well get food on it, too. I don't, I don't know why I didn't mess with that earlier. Now, Vol's Anvil is super rich, too. I don't have enough men. Well, I just thought I was going to be rolling through and sacking those things. That's why I didn't change it. Turns out that is not the case. <laughs> so, basically, what I mean, what's the threshold here? You can do double money, 15%. So if, if the town's making over, like, 1,500, something like that, 1,500-ish, then you should be putting the other one in. I don't want to redo all these, and I don't have the money to redo all of them, so it's that's fine. So it's only really the super poor towns you shouldn't be upgrading. I guess... Yeah, let's just these. Let's get rid of these just replace them with the percentage ones. We'll do that next turn. Okay. No! You are mistaken! Okay, so we already burrowed into there. Can't do any more here. Need all the money we can get. Okay, so Caracasone. We could get rid of some of these luxury buildings, but. Wait, how did they occupy this last turn and run? Got that at tier two. I mean, Warlock of Skaven Blight. Kill targets now. Retreat, run. Make Under Empire bigger. Smash break and grab take. Pressure. Okay. Whip, warp smart. Don't care about Doom players or any of that other crap. We just need to get to ancient cunning and then get the 
the um, the costs under control. Okay, so we'll go with that. Big tutorials, two percent, one percent. I should have done um, dictatorial before. But, yeah, let's go ahead and. Yeah, it sucks. But. We don't have to have that. What is it? What is it looking like right now? On does it tell us? How many uh, dudes we have? Where is it? Why don't I see it? What am I missing? Where are the um, storm vermin? I see everything but storm vermin. Because we should be able to global recruit storm vermin, right? Like, why wouldn't... What am I missing? There's clan rats. There's abominations. I mean, it's literally everything except for storm vermin. Does it let him global Storm Berman? Storm Berman, like, one unit in the game, you literally cannot global? Because I can't build any of those other units in that town either. Or is it just glitched, or, like, what? Clan rats, clan rats, clan rats, clan rats. Spears. I should kill many serpents. Drills. Assassins, weapons team. Oh, it does. It does have mortars. It has snipers. Can't scroll like down or anything. It has literally every unit except for storm vermin. Can they? So they just can't be globally recruited. Okay, these idiots are rolling over here too. Well, you know what? That might keep them busy, because it looks like they're going to dock here and start burning the high elves, so I guess I'm okay with that. I don't understand why I can't mess with storm vermin, but okay. So Zorvrock, sure. Oxel. You know, we've got, we've got to upgrade that one. That one's actually really important. These other ones are kind of like nice, you know, nice little bonuses, but... Um, Sufficient fines. Okay, well, something's getting reduced here. Okay, we can wait on that one then. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably capped on Storm Vermin, but it should tell you even if you're capped. Stop, stop. Saboteur, Wolf Rat, Priest. Okay. Let's make sure this dude Cold has it too. Just having a couple of these dudes around, I think, is nice. Because they're, like I said, they're not that expensive. They're like, you know, 200 each. And just being able to pick the, uh, pick off all the heroes is good. Nasty poison. Oh, 
<coughs> See, we were looking, um, we we're looking super rich, weren't we, a little bit ago, but financing this empire. I mean, I could do non-aggros with them, but... Then if they raid me, it's a problem. If I do military alliance, that would allow me to see where they're going. But if they declare war on, like, one of the rats, that's going to create a problem. So I've kind of learned that in another campaign. Yes, good. Where does the chaos do like us? Yes. Bow before he who wields the slayer of king. Careful, son. Fear me. We might just murder you. Who are they? Are they at war with? Let us not allow haste or rage to dictate business. For the hag. Okay, we can't trade with them. So there are a couple of evil boys that like us out there. Great. Go, Kamok. Welcome, news. No. They only have two properties. What? These guys kind of like us. Cloud. Empire Kite counts kind of like us. Okay. Oh. In the Were it not for the kind heart of the All right. need to do anything in the workshops yet. Working these techs. We're about to get carved tunnels. Getting a lot of food. And then next turn, we need to replace all of those buildings. So I goofed up. I miscalculated because when I hovered that, I thought that was the um, upkeep of the entire province, but it's just that one town that gets hovered. If you click on it, or if you hover over it, it will tell you the upkeep of everything. So if it's 1,500 gold or more, you need to get the percentage building. Probably a tier 2 percentage building, because it's going to be a lot of money. Isn't that right, Sadie? If it's super rich, maybe a tier 3. Okay, did they take the bait? Alright, they took it. Okay, let's do this. Make sure we have a good fight this episode. I know we're basically out of time, but I don't think... I just kind of got blown out early on, so we'll I always try to give you guys a good fight, so we'll see what we get here. Um, for a couple more food. Okay, I was hoping they would do that. Remember, we were looking for this bait, so hopefully we don't regret it. We could get surrounded. I'm going to go for a fifth food just to make sure. Retreat! Because we are pretty heavy on the artillery. I mean, it's worked out really well so far, but against, like, huge swarms of units, obviously, if you can't hold them back, it could be a, a problem. And we are going to get surrounded, potentially. We might have to do a Crack's Call here. This might be a decent place for Crack's Call. If we can, like, push them right in and just line it up perfectly right where they spawn. We could just get a really good blowout cracks call, potentially. <clears throat> I think the garrison is coming in behind us. What is it, Sadie? Oh. He's meowing. He says, give me some food. I am the cat. Yeah, they are coming in straight behind us. A uh, little unlucky on this map. Actually, pretty unlucky on this map, to be honest, because the line of sight is going to be a huge issue. Okay, now he's not on his doom wheel. He still has a lot of armor, but he's not as pimped out as he otherwise might be. Oh, and it's dark, too. That's going to be really obnoxious to keep track of everybody. 
Okay, so we'll gamble this. They had some stuff that could come in fast, like some boar and things like that, but... Okay, so we're gonna set up shop right here. For the famine tide! Poisoned wind mortar! Demon's death! Yeah! Let's go ahead and just put these, like, here. Blast them. As soon as they walk in, we'll have the boobos just snipe them right here. You have to reposition quickly. So after we kill all of them, we're going to have to come over here and try to... So we can use these to try to buy some time. Actually, we'll use these to just grind them up. So we'll set them, knock them down, or set them up, then knock them down. So these over here to kind of protect this. We may not even need to use these. What, what? Yeah, maybe we just actually commit these to um, just firing on those, because I think this is going to be enough to just immediately delete them as soon as they come in. Ready, ready. Especially with the rattling gun. Rattling so we'll just use our closer range stuff here. We may not even need the mortars, but the mortars can We're reposition and probably be okay. And if they get up close, we can just grind them out. Four systems on. Is part of our one group, and then this can just get over three group. Oh god, we just fired in our own dudes way too much. Okay, so yeah, we just kind of blast our own dudes with those poison wind mortars. coming slowly. Okay, so let's reposition here. 
Yeah, so I should have been careful firing the mortars into that. We could have handled that without the mortars. If they're trying to hide over here. It's interesting. So that they're trying to bait my see they're getting smarter. I mean the game does get smarter. They uh They're trying to bait me. They're trying to get me to use my ammo on the wolves. Probably have to fight him again, so we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we get this.
nice. We can steer them back into us, maybe. God, this guy is... Okay, I was about to say, he's making it for a while. It's friendly fire on these. Oh, we are about to hire a bunch of weapons teams too. Did I already finish? I don't remember if I finished that tag. Oh, the rock lobber didn't even come over. Oh, Sly almost made it out. and do not friendly fire my own doom flares there. Okay. Alright, so we baited him. Okay, most of the doom flares made it out. We only really lost one there. I'm trying to think, against lizardmen, we really need... Um, we could get the concentrated warp fire upgrade, which gives, like, anti-large, supposedly. I don't know how much anti-large, but... That could be decent against their um, guys. What else would be good? Obviously, the snipers would be good. Halberds gonna be good. Abominations gonna be good. In general, wizardmen have a hard time against uh, halberds. Now we have fairly low quality halberds. Well, let's be honest, some of the lowest quality in the game outside of like human halberds, but Spoils human halberds. I think Storm Vermin are better with all the upgrades than Human Halberds, but Flesh, Human Halberds can be alright too. Uh, kind of need the money Death right now. I think Warp Armor is actually quite good. Need to put that on somebody else. Yeah, causes a lot of extra damage. No, oh, they're both coming over to siege this. Huh. Well, maybe they take it back. I don't know. Doubt it. We could go ahead and make a missile and um, do one of the warp upgrades or something. What are we at? 115? Dang, these episodes are going long, though. Isn't that right, Sadie? This is such a fun campaign, honestly. I'm having a great time with it. Hopefully we still have viewers by this point. I'm not sure which episode it's going to be, but I've had a great time with it so far. Idiots are sieging Magrita. I think we can just kill him. Wow, it thinks the puppets are better than me. Rat search. Who is this? Um, words have a chance to gain negative one loyalty, and then we get untainted in all provinces. Oh, uh, that's okay. Minus four loyalty. Dang, that's really good, though. I think. Enrich warp zone dust. Crack. Apocalyptic vision. That's pretty good. Minus four loyalty. I mean, I'm going to get rid of that dude anyways, probably. I think he's got ten. I would like that.
I mean, it only lasts for a little bit, so I guess it's I not like insane, but. Vow. No. Can we win that? We'll figure it out next episode. I think we might just be able to attack that and just win it flat out with our um, all of our summons. And we've got um, Engineer and this guy, Plague Priest. He can't summon. Um, he can't summon anything, but you know he's got the Warp Breath or whatever, the Poison Attacks. We can summon Clan Rats everywhere. Clan Rats with Spears. I think we can probably beat him but we'll see we'll get back on it next time okay no the dude was in ambush stance he might be able to take this moo kip he's taking some attrition walking through our property so all of them are probably about that that health bar I really need to finish these abominations out. They could just siege me next turn. Why are they not taking attrition here? I guess it's not toxic enough yet. It should be pretty dang toxic. Okay, I mean... Are they just immune to attrition? Then he's coming down too. They could if they see just at Oxel, that's gonna be annoying. All things fear us. He doesn't unless he does like a no look. Oh, he can't even walk through there yet. Okay, he's got really low movement. Okay. Okay, so we can figure it out next turn. Oh, I forgot to even put anything in this town. Oops. Okay, so we want to siphon. Money. Purple stone. We might even just want to go full on siphon and the hidey holes or whatever. Murder holes. We didn't gain anything else. Who was that off of? Okay, yeah, this guy lost it. But that, I mean, we're going to replace him anyways. It doesn't matter. Um... Expert Ambusher. Okay, so we're going to get to complete those. And then... Do we still have the building? Uh, next turn, we could Confederate. Okay, we have yeah one more turn of Dominating Scheme and one more turn, and then we can do the um, Empire. Intimidating. I think it gets up to seven, which is, like, terrifying. And that's when you trigger the second wave of chaos, I'm pretty sure, so. And it looks like they are, I don't know what they're doing. They're goofing around. There's one that can, is coming down here. Mangrove, I believe, yeah, it has walls. Now we didn't complete this, so our weapon scenes are not gonna be powered up, which kinda sucks, but <clears throat> we will have the movement. And we need to get to ingenious plans. Um, pretty soon. I think our main town was about to power up some more. Yeah, we can get this at a discount. Still very expensive, but it is 25% off, and we do need it for ingenious plans. So... We'll figure it out next time, though. So, anyways, thank you very much. Be sure to check back in. We're sure to have some more uh, very interesting fights going on. We're going to continue to try to deal with these dwarfs in their back dooring. Don't think they're going to be able to siege that. Um, there are some Skaven slaves there, but I think we'll be able to beat them. We're going to... Um, oh, we can burrow under and get away. Okay, so we can probably save that this turn. Alternatively, we could just um, attack, sack this. I guess you can burrow under even if you're in the zone of control. I didn't think you could do that. 
But we could also just kill this guy. I mean, the leveling up doesn't matter at this point. We're already pretty much max level. So we can just let this guy wiggle away. It's fine. Okay, so we'll probably just burrow under, protect this, and then run down and kill all the dwarfs. We need to get this guy off of this, too. As I was saying, we can probably... Can we just beat him flat out? It's saying no, but I think in a siege, we might be able to. We need to get a warp rocket. <clears throat> but anyways, we'll figure it out next time, so thanks very much. Um... Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for future episodes, and we'll see you next time.